A major revelation in the federal trial of former Baltimore City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby. City Council President Nick Mosby testifying he lied to reporters about a tax lien on his home to keep the truth from his wife. Prosecutors argue Marilyn Mosby lied about that tax lien on mortgage applications for two vacation homes in Florida. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubalakai is off tonight. The city council president's testimony raising questions about how fit he is to hold that office. Makes his credibility even worse if it's possible to think it was good in the first place. And that is not the only concerning piece of information to come out of today's proceedings. Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost takes a closer look at what happened in court today. Walking into the federal courthouse in Greenbelt Monday morning. Feel free. City Council President Nick Mosby reserving his comments for the stand, where, under oath, taking responsibility for the couple's ballooning tax debt. From the beginning, Merlin Mosby's defense has been she did not know about the couple's $45,000 tax lien on her home in Baltimore before she bought the two vacation homes in Florida. Nick Mosby telling the jury he hid the tax troubles from his wife. And these photos of garbage bags, canvas bags, piles, all unopened mail, shown to the jury indicate the disorganized mail in the Mosby's home. Taken this year, Nick Mosby says the images are an accurate depiction. An IRS agent testifying that the agency sent the Mosby's as many as 40 letters notifying them of the tax debt and eventual lien. After Marilyn Mosby was first indicted in January of 2022, her legal team scoffed at our questions about the mail. So you're saying yep. that she didn't open the mail? It appears that answer is yes. Now the defense argues Marilyn Mosby trusted her husband to take care of the tax problems, especially since Nick says he was the one who handled the couple's tax filings. Nick also admitting to keeping his deep financial trouble a secret. Monday, Nick was asked specifically about this news conference in November of 2020. Your tax issue has been resolved. Yes, thank you. Held outside City Hall when he was asked about the tax lien, then telling the city. Oh, uh, I, you know, I said that it would be done in the coming days and, you know, I've been able to, to, to settle that. The City Council President now telling the jury he lied because he did not want his wife to find out. You're admitting to having a credibility issue and you can't have it both ways. Jeremy Eldridge is an attorney not affiliated with this case, but says Nick Mosby's testimony will make it hard for a jury to believe what he's saying. And once you admit to having a serious credibility issue in court, it's very difficult to then say, well, I lied then, but I had a good reason for it. But Nick's time under oath doesn't stop there. Monday, prosecutors allege the city council president repeatedly committed perjury on tax forms. Nick's financial woes date back almost a decade, where from 2014 to 2018, wages were garnished to pay off his student loan debt. His car got repossessed twice, and he fell behind on mortgage payments. Prosecutors also claim in the same years, Nick Mosby wrote off charitable donations. More information about Nick's previous tax filings are expected to come later. Monday afternoon, Nick Mosby finally excused as Marilyn Mosby's mortgage fraud trial continues into the third week. In Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. As City Council President, Nick Mosby also sits on the Board of Estimates, which approves all city contracts. Political analyst John Deedee says this testimony is going to leave voters questioning whether they can trust Mosby to handle the city's business. All these things coming out create an extreme increase of a lack of trust because of all this that has gone on. And I think that right now, he's got to think about what's the plan two, three years down the road. I think voters are going to look at it in the end and... Whereas they may have felt sorry for him in some respects regarding Marilyn Mosby, I think a lot of people, this trial is bringing out that really, he wasn't really truthful in a lot of things regarding with the feds, regarding with Marilyn Mosby and a variety of other things. And in many ways, he's tarnished his reputation more. And this isn't the first time revelations from the federal case against Marilyn Mosby has led to some to question whether Nick Mosby is fit to be city council president. In March of 2022, federal prosecutors released a superseding indictment alleging Mrs. Mosby falsely claimed to get a $5,000 gift from her husband to close on those Florida properties. Prosecutors say Nick Mosby had less than $5,000 in his checking account at the time.
When you're the city council president and you have access to millions of taxpayer dollars and you can't figure out your own finances, this opens him up to a lot of things where it could be uh, people asking for favors in exchange for money. So this is a person that should not have access to any taxpayer dollars. Or Fox 45 News pressed Mayor Scott about whether he still had confidence in Nick Mosby following that superseding indictment. He didn't give us a direct answer at that point, saying he would let the federal investigation play out. And that brings us to our question of the day. Given his testimony today, should Nick Mosby continue to be city council president? So far, 100% of voters say no. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote to weigh in. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.